There's a celebrity in the kitchen. It's Celebrity Season on Creative Cooking. Now, let's look in on today's celebrity guest. Since winning the Mr. Maker crown in 1985, Dr. Alison Cross has committed her life to education. Whether she's working with children or with adults, she's passionate about seeing people learn. Today, Dr. Cross joins us on Creative Cooking to share with us a quick and easy meal that fits well into our hectic lifestyle. Dr. Cross, we welcome you to Creative Cooking. Thank you so much, Maisie. Mm -hmm. My pleasure to be here. Tell us about what has influenced your choice of, of, of career in education. I have to say that my dad was a major role. And he served as principal of Woolmer's Boys School. For 18 years, that's right. Okay. Many people in my life have been in education. My mother was an art teacher. Both my grandmothers were teachers in their own school at the elementary level. So it's in my blood. What are you cooking right. for us today? Well, we're going to do some barbecue fish rolls and we're going to do a little herb pasta. You know, I have a passion for pasta. But we have some wonderful fish fillets here and we're going to season these up now. I have a little salt, some ginger and some black pepper and I'm going to mix them in a bowl. So I'm mixing it up. Make sure there's no lumps in there. Okay, I think I'm about ready to go. You are the executive director of the Jamaica, Jamaica Foundation. Jamaica Foundation for Lifelong Learning. That's right. Formerly Jamal, right? That's correct. What are some of the goals that you have set? Our goal here at JFLL is to work to empower literacy, numeracy, and life skills so that people can be more responsible for their own lives um, and participate more in the community. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about what I'm doing with this yes. fish right now. I'm you rolling them in. Well. I've seasoned yeah. them out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use this little, skewer. it's like a skewer, yes. right? We were trying with toothpicks. Sometimes you can use a toothpick. The skewer works well because it doesn't break or anything. Beautiful. And you notice I've just rolled it and I'm going to place it right here on the platter. Mm. Once you bake the fish, it'll hold its, its, um, its shape. Its shape. Right. There we go. Now let's, right. let's do these like this. Mm -hmm. So I have a little bit more space here. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do is work on the barbecue sauce. Let okay. me tell you a little bit about what we have here. Okay. We have some sweet pepper. We have some tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, a little ginger, some onion. Now I like my pepper, so of course I have a little jerk seasoning, a little wine, a little chili powder, and a little sugar. So let's just start mixing these all in. I have my whisk here. That's ginger, right? That's my ginger. I'm going to put in a little sweet pepper now. I see you have different colors so you're in the green I love one. the color yeah. scheme here. Fresh tomato. Tomatoes, yes. And I like tomatoes a lot. So we're going to use that. I'm going to use a little chili powder here. Too, too much chili powder. You have to Just watch the taste. A half teaspoon or Maybe so. a half teaspoon. Yes. Now, I love my jerk. Yes. I like pepper a lot. I like my spices. You have come. I'm going to whisk this up first before I put in any more. Okay. Oh, it's smelling good already. It hasn't even gone in. You notice a lot of the fresh seasoning that we use releases that lovely smell. Onions, yes. Little onions here. And then a little wine, a little red wine, just to help bring out that flavor. All right, so we're just going to mix this all up. Yeah. Get a lovely looking paste here, rich. Yes. And I'm going to just pour this over my fish. Just to completely cover it so that it can just seep into all of it. Now, we've already marinated the fish, so it already has some flavor there with the garlic, remember? Now, what I'm going to do, this is just all ready to go. I'm going to put a little um, tin foil on it, and I'll just cover this. Beautiful. Right, right. And we're good to go. See how quick that was? Quick um, and easy. Quick and easy. And if you're going to be um, cooking in the evening, sometimes you might want to do some preparation earlier in the day. Oh, right. I think I only just use one. I'm what temperature are you going to bake for? 350. For? And the beauty of this. There you go is that it only takes 15 to 20 minutes to cook. So that's wow. nice and, and quick. The next mm. thing we're going to do is some herb pasta. Okay. Now, We've turned on the, the, the gas here and I'm going to put a little olive oil in. Now I like olive oil because it has a delicious flavour as well. Now with the pasta, we've pre-cooked the pasta. I'm told you are involved in, you participate in marathons, you're an excellent swimmer. Tell us about marathons. I love my exercise, you're right. I'm passionate. Education and exercise. Mm -hmm. um, I've been a marathon runner for a while, long distance runner. I, I used to run with the Jam Damas, wonderful running group. Um, I've run three marathons in my life. A little bit hard on my joints these days as I get older. <sighs> we all get a little older, but that's okay. Because what I've done is fall back on, on swimming. So I do swimming and I still do my core. I'm not into heavy, heavy meals. Um, I'm into light meals and pasta and this. Ooh, got some lovely things here. Now I'm not going to cook this for too long. 
What I want to do is just release the flavor in some of these. Yeah. I'm going to put in my onion and garlic first, actually, okay. because that sometimes takes a little bit um, to get the little sharp flavor out. Okay. Let's get the scallion in there as well. So we have scallion, onion. And I take you, you, you always cook with fresh farm produce, fresh, right? Fresh, fresh. Yeah. So here we are. This is not going to take too long at all because all I'm doing is releasing the flavor. I'm actually going to add pasta now because this is ready. I put one for you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. And we just put it in. You notice I haven't added the basil yet because right. I want that flavor just to be, it's fresh basil. Mm -hmm. And it will just go in at the very end. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to add it now. My son loves to do a barbecue. Yes. Um, and he'll barbecue maybe with his dad yeah. and his uncle, his uncle Stephen. My daughter, she'll do a, a wicked omelette, a oh, wonderful wow. omelette. Oh, wow. And um, they both bake cookies, beautiful. cakes. Beautiful. Okay, now the, the smells of this is just being released. Wow. Very simple. Now, the nice thing about pasta is it's very versatile. Mm -hmm. I like herb pasta, not heavy on the fat. You see yeah. these colors? Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Beautiful. You're doing a, a serving a salad too, Yes, eh? Maisie, this is going to complete our meal tonight. So, you're doing so we're doing have a fresh salad, and I'm going to just whisk up a quick, again, healthy dressing to go what with this. What do you have this. in the bowl here? So what I have in the bowl here is a little oil, a little olive oil again. How about a tablespoon? How about a tablespoon, a little lime juice, a little vinegar. You can use balsamic vinegar as well, and a little salt. So all we're going to do is just mix these up. I'm going to put a little of this sugar in just to cut that sharp taste. Yeah. Let me just use the whisk in here a little bit, not too much. Mm -hmm. We're just clearing up as we go along. It's all about teamwork, you know. It is. Oh, this well, everything is, is beautiful, teamwork. Beautiful, beautiful. Isn't it good? Yeah, beautiful. All right, I'm just going to rest this down here, and I'm just going to drizzle this on it. Mm -hmm. A salad dressing is very much to taste. You can do as heavy as you want, or as healthy as you want. Alison, time goes by very quickly. It's 15 minutes ah. has passed, right? Let's get that out of the oven. Excellent. Let's take off this foil. It might be a little warm. Yes, right. Oh, this looks so good, Maisie. Yes, right. Oh, this is perfect. They're coming out beautifully. Um, if you're using the toothpicks, you'd be taking them out the same way. Do you see how the shape has held? Beautiful. And you see, yeah, you know, the, you had a fish fillet which was, was flat, and you have actually yes. put it into shape, use the yes. skills, and with cooking, with the heat of the oven, and it, it holds together. Beautifully. I'm going to put it a little closer so the viewers can so see. Good. Very good. And I'm going to put this salad right beside it. Let's just fix it up for a few minutes. Maisie, look at that. We have a beautiful good that to go. salad. You know, the lettuce forms the, the base of the salad. You have cabbage and carrots and sweet peppers for the body. You you, you know you have tomato for the for the garnish, and, and you serve a dressing. So it really is a, you know. Um, so you have your proteins. You have your carbohydrates. Oh, it, this is good. So to we're go. saying that you don't have to serve rice at no. every meal. No, you know, not at all. Pasta is excellent source of carbohydrate, and 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 this is a very economical meal. It is lazy, economical, quick, and healthy. Satisfying, nutritious. Eh? Yes. Yeah. One parting um, word. What, what, what advice do you have for our young people? Uh, get involved. Uh, get involved in learning. And don't think that it's too late to catch up. And enjoy it. Really enjoy whatever you're doing. Thanks, Maisie. It was our pleasure having you on Crete. It was Hope great you, being you here. Hope you enjoyed the show. And that you look in every Tuesday and Friday evening at 7.50 p.m. on CVM TV as our Jamaican celebrities show off their culinary skills on creative cooking. <laughs>